Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of Unit 9, New Ways and Old. If you're ready, open your student book on page 74 and let's study together. We're going to start with the reading skill. A biography. We have a discussion. Discuss these questions with a partner. What is a biography? How is a biography different from an autobiography? Well, a biography is an account of a person's life written by another person, while an autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person himself or herself. Whose biography have you read or would you like to read? What kinds of biographical details could be included under these headings? Personal details, physical description, family and early life, career, personal life, important dates, beliefs, achievements. Which details of your own biography would you emphasize? Why? What was the happiest moment of your life? Why? What was the most significant event of your life? Why? Now let's move on to question 2. Read this brief biography. Self-taught success. Tarek was born in Damascus in 1962 into a successful Syrian family. His father worked as a civil servant and his mother, who had once been a teacher, was a hard-working housewife. His brother Hani was very bright and after finishing university, went on to become a civil engineer. Tarek was good with his hands, and so, instead of going to university, took a course in woodwork and became a carpenter. He loved Syrian folk music and, in his spare time, made musical instruments, finally crafting instruments such as ouds. One day, one of his friends saw an oud he had made and asked him to make one for him too. This was the beginning of Tarek's career as an instrument maker. As soon he was able to give up selling furniture and make instruments instead. With the money he earned, he was able to get married and start a family, buying his own villa outside Damascus. His instruments have become famous across Syria and the Arab world, and there is now a great demand for these instruments. One of Tarek's sons, Saleh, has decided to follow his father 
into the business. And so Tariq is teaching him how to make the oud. Now let's answer the questions. Which information from exercise 1c above is included? We've mentioned personal details like name, date of birth, age, place of birth, family and early life, family background, sisters and brothers, career, beliefs and achievements. How is this biography constructed? What is the topic of each paragraph? Here we can put a heading for each paragraph. Now let's just start with the writing skill. A short biography. Planning and writing. You're going to write a short biography of someone you know or know about. You're going to write a short biography of someone who has had an interesting or unusual life. Decide who you're going to write about. Here are some ideas. Someone you know well personally, for example a member of your family, or a well-known figure in your town or city. Someone who is famous nationally or internationally, for example, a sports personality or a musician. An unknown person you respected and want to tell everybody about. For example, someone who has helped others, like a doctor or a teacher. هنا ميعطوكن خيارات لتقرروا عن مين حابين تحكوا. B. Plan your biography in four paragraphs, using the biography in exercise 2 as a model. Two, write your biography in 120 to 150 words. Include the information that you decide is important from exercise 1c on page 74. Follow your paragraph plan and write it clearly and simply. Try to interest your readers in the subject of your biography. Use expressions from the useful language box below. Now we have the useful language. Was born in 1962 into a family. His or her father worked as a elder or younger brother or sister. In his or her spare time, he or she. In 1987, he or she. Mm, years later, when he or she was. This was the beginning of his or her career as a. In the following year, he or she. Check. When you have finished writing, read your biography carefully. Check spelling, grammar and punctuation. 
Exchange biographies with a partner. As you read what your partner has written, ask yourself these questions. How is the subject of the biography interesting or unusual? Does the biography include the kinds of information I want to know? What other information would I find interesting? Return your partner's biography and exchange thoughts and ideas. Ask more questions about the subject. At last we have a quote. Tradition simply means that we need to end what began well and continue what's worth continuing. That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you on the activity book.